QuickBooks Online 2024. Pay payroll taxes. Get ready and some coffee because we're doing some quick thinking with QuickBooks Online 2024. Here we are in our Jake Great Guitars 2024 QuickBooks Online sample company file we set up in a prior presentation, opening up the major financial statement reports like we do every time. The reports on the left. In the favorites, we're right-clicking on that balance sheet to open a link in a new tab. Right-click in the profit and loss. Also, opening link in a new tab. Same thing with the trusty trial balance. Let's tab to the right, close up the hamburger, and change the range. We're going from 01024 tab, 022924 tab. And then let's see it month by month, side by side, run it. And then we'll tab to the right. Close up the hamburger again and range change 010124 tab 02924 tab and month by month run it one more time repeating the process tabbing to the right closing the hamburger and the times they are changing 010124 tab 02924 tab dropping it down to months refreshing the report let's go back to the balance sheet and discuss what we're going to do next, which is the pain of the payroll taxes. You will recall in a prior presentation, we processed payroll for the second time in our practice problem. And now we have all these, these liabilities piling up here that we need to be paying to the government. So quick recap of the process of the payroll process. If we look at the flow chart, this being a desktop flow chart that we're using for online purposes, just so we can see the flow of the forms, which will be in essence the same for the payroll process. So payroll down below. First, we have the time entry, which might not be something you do for payroll. You might be using that to generate invoices. If you have salaried employees, then you might not have to enter the time at all because you're paying them salary. Then we process the pay. You might do that weekly, semi-weekly, uh, bi-weekly, or semi-monthly or bi-weekly, <laughs> or monthly. We're doing it monthly. So we had two months. We've processed two payrolls at this point in time. So when we process the payroll, as we saw last time, we have an increase to a liability as a result of us having to withhold money from the employees as though they're babies. So we have to pay the taxes on their behalf because the government makes us do that. And we had our payroll taxes that we had to also pay and we have not yet paid it. So it's in the liability account now. Now, sometime after processing the payroll, we will have to take the money that we took from the employees as well as our payroll taxes and pay them to the government, reducing the liability. And then we're, that's going to be when we pay the liability. So there's kind of a widget to do that. If you're processing in QuickBooks, they hopefully have everything set up and QuickBooks will make that an easy thing to do. Once we pay the, the liabilities at the end of the quarter on a quarterly basis, then we typically have to file 941 forms, summary forms, kind of like a 1040 for individual income taxes. And at the end of the year, we then have to do the 940 for federal unemployment tax summary report, similar to a 1040 for individual income taxes. And then we have to do the W-2s and the W-3s, of course. And if we deal with state taxes, state tax stuff as well. So we're going to imagine back on over here, we turned on our payroll in prior presentations. That's in the first tab. We have the payroll on the left, noting that you might do payroll in QuickBooks. You might have a third party process the payroll. Either way, you're typically going to have to pay for the processing of payroll, upselling in QuickBooks, or possibly paying someone else to do it outside uh, of QuickBooks. That's just the way it goes. You could try to do it yourself without the upsell, but wouldn't really recommend it even if you only have a few employees because payroll can get uh, complicated and you want to make sure that you're in compliance so that you don't get hit with fairly hefty penalties and interest and the pain of trying to fix a messed up payroll process. So we turned on the payroll, we added our employees, and then we processed the payroll for two months of payroll as of this point in time. And so now we have the, the point where we need to be paying the payroll, the payroll taxes, that is. 
So we can go over here, then we have the employees and then we have the payroll taxes. If I go into the payroll taxes tab, I'm gonna close up the hamburger. It says here, we need more information to pay and file your taxes. So you'll have to manually file and pay your taxes until you provide all the necessary information. So obviously if you're gonna be paying electronically on the payroll taxes, you have to have the system set up to be properly paying those institutions and oftentimes uh, the government might want their money in some kind of electronic type of transfer system. And then down below, you have the, the time frame of the items in a nice handy little widget that basically is all set up for us. So we have the California uh, PIT, the income tax and the, and the SDI that is currently owed and it's gonna be due on 215 according to what we have in the system for our practice problem. The federal taxes on the 941, which includes the Social Security, Medicare, and federal income tax for both the, uh, uh, the well, those are the federal taxes. And then we also have uh, the federal taxes here, which is gonna be, this is the following month, I believe. So that's due on 315. So these are the two that we're basically looking at at this point. Let's show all, and this gives us the rest. So this one is due on 315 and then 430 and then and then 13125. Okay, so if we look at our liabilities over here, our liabilities have been broken out in the liability section by who we need to basically pay, California taxes, and then the SUI for California, a different type of California tax, and then the federal taxes for this whole this whole group uh, would be the, the Social Security, Medicare, and federal income tax. And then this is the federal tax for unemployment or FUTA. Now, I, and then we have our adjustment that we made. Now, if you're running real time, then, you can basically, if everything's running smoothly, then we can process the pay with our pay liabilities section. And that would process another check, which would be 